Hi, I'm Jason Otter with Otter Basketball. And today we're going to go through the first part of a two-part series on the drift dribble. Now the drift dribble is a great dribble we tell our players to use to stretch angles. We like our players using it to stretch angles off uh, for the pass. Let's say I'm coming down the floor and Donnie cuts and I shovel a pass right there. We like it for that. We like our players to use this dribble to stretch angles for dribble penetration. And maybe I'm being defended by Donnie right here and I immediately, I don't have to get too crazy, I just go right in this drift and I read him. Oh, he doesn't go to the ball so I can attack. If he jumps up on this wide angle, now you got to remember, you know, <laughs> you're not going to have a five foot guy guarding you, you're going to have a six ten guy guarding you. So they're much longer and taller. So if I just come straight at this guy and try to attack, I'm not going to find much success. So I've got to use this drift dribble to not only stretch my angles, but to slow the game down and read them. So if I come down and drift and he stretches out to the ball, you can see how I can cut back off of that. And it really starts to stretch my angles out. And another reason, again, we like to use this drift is just to get space for the shot. If I'm here and this guy's guarding me, I stick him hard, I can oh, go here and shoot my pull up. Now, the final piece, and we talk, we'll talk a lot about execution off with the drift in the ball screen game and how to make players guard multiple angles and why the drift is so important. One of the reasons I really like the drift is it's a way to get space but keep my hips on the rim. Now, how do we teach our players, how do we start practicing this? The first thing we do is we put our guys on a lunge line. All right, we've used that lunge line before. And what Donnie's going to do is he's going to go ahead, a right hand dribble Donnie. Good, stay in athletic stance, let's put him in four. Now remember, we, we're working slots. He's going to go four, he's going to go left load. He's going to cover as much ground as he can. Go, boom. Good, freeze it. Now what I want Donnie to do here is, is to get more spin. If you watch, when I'm using this dribble, watch that ball spinning in my hand. All right. Now a lot of players are going to want to jump really high here. And maybe in some situations you will. What I'm going to tell Donnie is, is I'm looking for what we call a mini drift. Where I want him to stay around the same height, but I want him to create momentum across the rim. So again, when he goes mini here, he's here. See how that ball's spinning? And that's where I'm reading. So if that guy or girl, if you're playing girls, they've got a girl guarding you, is here, I can cut back this way and take angle to the rim, or I can go blow by to the rim. So let's do that again, Donnie. Give me a mini drift. Nice right there. Good. Keep that ball spinning. Go ahead. Good. Slide back. Ball control. Good. Left hand. Go. Good. That was better. Good. Slide back. Right hand. Go. Good. And the first dribble we'll use to teach us is the in and out dribble. And then I'll say, okay, now that we're using that drift like this, I'll say drift uh, left, one dribble, drift right, one dribble. So now he's going to start putting in a little pattern, stay in rhythm with himself, and I'm watching his hips and his alignment. Go ahead. Good. One. Good. Keep your hips on the rim. Good. Keep that ball spinning. Good. Stay low. Good. Nice. And I, again, great, because if I'm guarding Donnie right here, and I, he's here, we will, go ahead, go use your drift, good. See, I just made that read. I didn't tell him where I was going to be. He's reading that part of the defense. Then a big piece of this is, you know, a lot of kids want to go east-west, and in today's game, we all this dribble stuff, there's a lot more east-west, and uh, I'm going to tell you, undersized guys got to use east-west dribbles, but they've had to attack in straight lines. Did a segment on that. So if I'm got Donnie guarding me, and I'm using my drift, i got to attack right there. You see, I still attack to the rim. That was a definitely a mini drift. I'm coming up. Oh, he jumps straight to the rim. So I don't take those hips off and I take that angle. Now, the next piece of this is if Donnie wants to use this coming downhill. So again, another great, I would tell players, use it going downhill a lot. So if I'm coming down on Donnie and I'm coming at him, instead of just going across the rim, I can use this in an angle. So I can come down right here, angle, oh, coming downhill. So now Donnie's going to go ahead and go pattern on the rim, one, two, three, with a downhill drift. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Good. Come bring that drift downhill, Donnie. There you go. Much better. Forget away. Good. Two, three. Downhill. Good. I want you to think you're coming in. I want you coming in. Downhill. Nice. 
See how he's moving forward into the D and stretching his dribble at the same time. Great job. I'm going to tell you right now, there's a number of different dribbles. We like to start them with the in and out. Reason why is the in and out, you can keep that thing tighter to your body. Um, you'll see a lot of our kids at the high level using a through the leg dribble. Like, let's say I've got a ball screen over here. You know, we, we tell our kids, if, you're come, if you've got a horn screen going to the middle of the floor, you want to position here. So when I go into my drift, you can see, boom, I can stay attached. But what happens here is most kids, when they come off this screen, what do they do? They turn and go to the screen. If I do that, Donnie can run up and, and blow that screen up. Now, let's say I position myself here where I've got the ball in my right hand. You're not dead yet because you can use a, a change of direction drift. So I could go right here, boom, right into the screen. Now you see that? Because if I go through my legs and he starts saying, oh, I'm going to jump that, boom, I can come right back. Practice the drift. Get to us. We're going to show you a lot more how to apply this in the game. But right now, you can start working. Get back to your lunge line that you use for your lunge and just work on using that drift. Keep it spinning in your hand. Next week, we're going to get into that section on how to use the drift on the gun.